Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at some spooky Halloween word problems. What's really spooky about these word problems is that they contain the words less and fewer. But hopefully, after watching this video lesson, these two words, less and fewer, will be a little bit less scary. Let's read the directions and get started right away. Solve the word problems below and check the correct total. Now, when I read word problems, I'm always looking out for key words or important information. So let's underline everything we think might be important, so that way it's easy to go back into the word problem when we're solving it. The witch uses 42 dragon scales to make a magical potion. She uses 19 less crow feathers than dragon scales in her magic potion. How many crow feathers does she use? So I know she uses 42 dragon scales. We're just going to call them scales. And she also uses 19 less feathers. The question wants to know how many feathers does she use? It has that tricky word in it less than. How can we figure out how many crow feathers she really has? Well, when you see the word less than, that usually signals subtraction. So if we took her 42 dragon scales and we subtracted 19, because she said there's 19 less crow feathers, so to find out how many crow feathers there are, we need to take away 19, and then that will tell us how many crow feathers she has. So let's subtract using regrouping to figure out how many crow feathers she has. Let's look closely at the ones place. Well, in the ones place, I see that the two is smaller than the nine. So we're gonna have to regroup. Let's take a 10 from four, which really represents the number 40, and turn it into a three, which really represents the number 30 because it's in the tens place. We'll add the 10 that we took to two, and that becomes a 12. Now we can just subtract the ones place. 12 minus nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 minus nine is three. And if we subtract the tens place, three minus one, one, two, three. Three minus one is two. We know she has 23 crow feathers in her magical potion because 42 minus 19 is 23, meaning 19 less than 42 is 23, giving us 23 crow feathers in her magical potion. So one less scary tip is that when you see the word less than, the words less than, you can usually bet that it is a subtraction problem. Let's take a look at our second word problem. Again, underlining the important facts and details. On the first floor of a haunted house, the ghost hunter found 65 ghosts. He found 28 fewer ghosts on the second floor. How many ghosts did he find on the second floor? Okay, so I know that he found 65 ghosts on the first floor. He also found 28 fewer ghosts on the second floor. Now again, when I see the word fewer, my mind immediately thinks fewer, less than, where we're taking away. So that must mean subtraction. So for this problem, 28 fewer ghosts, we're gonna have to subtract 65, minus 28 to find out how many ghosts there were on the second floor because there was 28 fewer ghosts or 28 less ghosts on the second floor. So again, let's subtract with regrouping. Let's look closely at the ones place again 
and in the ones place we have a five and an eight. Five is smaller than eight, so we are gonna have to regroup. We should be experts at this by now. So let's take a 10 from six, which represents 60, and turn it into a five, which will now represent 50. We'll take the 10 that we took from the tens place and give it to the five in the ones place. And five plus 10 is 15. Now we can just subtract 15 minus eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. And now we'll subtract the tens place. 5 minus 2. 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 minus 2 is 3, giving us an answer of 37. Boys and girls, remember when you're solving Halloween or any word problems for that matter, look and underline at the important information in the word problem. Remember, those scary words like fewer than or less than usually mean you're going to be subtracting in that word problem. Boys and girls, remember your regrouping strategies and great work. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.